Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are now in lecture 2, the relational model, part 3. In this lesson, we will describe the nulls, entity and relation integrity and also general constraint. Consider this example. We have staff and department relation. One department has many staffs. Each table has its own primary key. For example, staff will have staff ID and department will have department ID. One relationship indicates one foreign key. Where to put the foreign key of the relationship? At the relation that has many constraints of the relationship. For the relationship in the example, the relation that contains foreign key is considered as a child table, while the other is considered as a parent table. Child table's foreign key will always refer to the primary key of a parent table. Let's take a look at integrity constraint. Integrity constraint is to make sure that the data is accurate. Inaccurate of data could leave the whole database system unreliable and can affect the company from running smoothly. There are two important integrity rules which are constraints or restrictions that apply to all instances of the database. The first one is entity integrity. And the second one is referential integrity. Entity integrity refers to primary key of the relation, while referential integrity is referring to foreign key of the relation. The constraint on primary key are, the first one, primary key cannot be null. And the second one, primary key has to be unique. For foreign key, the constraint is it must have match value in the parent table. If doesn't have a match value, the foreign key can be wholly null. So these are the rules applied to the primary key and foreign key to make sure that the data is accurate. Let's take a look at insert delete update for referential integrity. Consider we have these two tables or two relations, staff and also department's relation. Staff is the child and department is the, is the parent. So now let's try to insert the value at parent table. What if we want to insert department ID 50 and department name marketing? Is there the problem? Of course, no. We can insert data at parent table without any problem. Now, let's take a look how to insert data at child's table. Consider we want to insert this stuff 105 with department ID 40. It can be accepted because 40 is inside the parent table. What if we want to insert another stuff with department ID 100? It cannot be accepted. Why? Because of there is no mesh value in the parent table for department ID 100. Now, let's take a look at delete for referential integrity. We still have the same relation. We have staff relation and also the department relation. What if we want to delete at the parent table and the department ID that we want to delete is department 40? Before we know we can delete it or not, take a look at department ID inside the child table. Is there any reference to department 40? If there's no reference, yes, we can delete department 40 without any problem. But what if we want to delete department 20? If we take a look, there are child referring to department 20 in the department table. So of course, we cannot delete department 20. There's a child referring to it. Consider we want to delete data at child table. If I want to delete one record in the staff relation, what if I want to delete staff ID equals to 103? Is there any problem? No, we can delete the child record because it gives no problem to integrity constraint. Now consider to update data for referential integrity. We still have the same relation, staff and department relation. What if we want to update data in the parent table? 
What if we want to update Department 40 to become Department 60? Same goes, we need to take a look in the child table. Is there any reference to Department 40? If no, yes, we can update the data because there's no child referring to it. But what if we want to update Department 20 to become 100? Of course, it cannot be done. Why? Department 20 is being referred by few child in the staff relation. Let's consider how to update data at the child table. What if we want to update Department 20 to become 10 for Abu's record? Is there any problem? No, because Department 10 is a valid department ID inside department relation. There's a match parent value. But what if we want to update Department 20 to become 100 for city's record? Of course, it cannot be done. Because why? Department 100 is not a valid department inside department relation. No match value in the parent table. Let's take a look delete and update actions for reference rule. Early relational DBMSs did not provide any control mechanism for referential integrity. However, the modern relational DBMSs provide sophisticated control mechanism for referential integrity. There are two rules here, delete rules and update rules. There are five different rules which are no action, restrict, set null, set default and cascade. Now let's take a look at this example. The first rule that we have is no action. We can do on update no action or on delete no action. What if we want to update department 20 to become 100? No, it cannot be done. This is why no action means no special action is taken. Data is not updated. What if we want to delete department 20? It also cannot be done. No action means no special action is taken, means data cannot be deleted. If delete or update rules are not specified, no action is the default rule. Let's take a look on the second rule, which is restrict. We have the same table, staff and also department. We also can do two different rules here, on update restrict, on delete restrict. If we want to update department 20 to become 100, it also cannot be done. Restrict means application is prohibited from modifying a parent key if there's a child referring to it. Same goes if we want to delete department 20, it cannot be done because application is prohibited from deleting a parent key if there's a child referring to it. Let's take a look at the third rule which is set null. With the same table, set null we can do on update set null, on delete set null. Let's take a look at the example. So we want to update department 20 to become 100. With this rule, it can be done. If we update department 20 to become 100, the child they are referring to department 20 in the department relation will be set to null. On update set null means when you update the parent, the child will be set to null. Let's take a look on how to delete department 10. It also can be done. If we delete department 10, then the child who are referring to department 10 will be set to null. So, on delete set null means when you delete the parent, the child will be set to null. Let's take a look at the next rule. 
next rule is about set default so the set default we also can do on update set default on delete set default let's consider the default value of department id in staff relation is 40. the example if we update department 20 to become 100 it is can be done the department id will be updated to become 100 in department relation and the child will be set to the default value what is the default value 40 then 40 will be inside the child of department 20 that is updated to become 100 because on update set default means if we update the parent the child will be set to the default value if we want to delete department 10 also it can be done we delete department 10 then the child they are referring to department 10 will be set to the default value which is 40 if we delete the parent the child will be set to default value the last rule is about cascade on update cascade on delete cascade The example is, let's say we want to update department 20 to become 100. It is also can be done with this rule. If you update the parent, the child also will be updated. Let's take a look on the screen. If we update the department ID 20 to become 100, the child also will be updated to become 100. On update cascade means when you update the parent, the child also will be updated. Now let's try to delete department 10. It also can be done. If we delete the parent, the child also will be deleted as shown on the screen. When you delete the parent, the child also will be deleted. That's all for now. See you again in the next part.